Hey guys, Sunshine Goddess 333 here for our Midday Mix, baby. I hope you guys are having a great day. So far, I'm having a great day myself. Um, It's nice and sunny. The weather is great. And I can't wait to go home and take my babies outside. So I have a little message. So definitely, okay, again, today I listened to one of my tarot readers that I listened to from a long time ago. And she clarified my reading. I can't, listen, I love my tarot readers that I used to listen to. Because cause you know what? They got me really, really far, okay? Like, like seriously, guys, like, without the ones, it's, it's like three or four of them that I, I've listened to since the beginning because I wasn't sure. I don't even know what made me listen to tarot. Oh, yeah, dealing with someone narcissist, and I just looked up, uh, I asked a question or something, and then that's how I got into tarot. How did you guys get into reading tarot or watching tarot or, you know, whatever you do? I, I'm just curious. Um, and also, yeah, that's it. So, um, so she clarified something. She clarified my reading too, but her reading was done yesterday and I didn't see it till today. So I definitely let her know. Thank you for my confirmation, you know, because this is a community and if we don't stick together, we'll be sticking apart. So that's why I say like other tarot readers, I know when they read my, they, they watch my stuff. Just don't know why they comment or subscribe, but that's okay because I'm in it to win it, baby. 114 on the clock. Right, so I hope you guys are having a good day. And um, yes, yeah, so I went. Ooh, look at the lover's card. Ooh, fast. Divine Madison because two came out and the Queen of Cups. Okay. So somebody knows that this divine mass this divine feminine is like a lover. So I'm a lover, guys. I don't know about you guys. I'm a lover. I don't like to fight and shit. The only reason I fight or argue is because I'm upset. That's why I leave situations because I'm upset. So look at, okay, hold on. I need another look at 10 of swords. Why did I think that eight of wands was 10 of swords? But this is why some of us leave, we get upset. So listen, the lovers, the divine feminine left the situation because she was no longer being served and desired in her life. The spirit said, okay, well then fine. Le oh. Divine masculine said, I got something to say because you guys, I can't with this divine masculine. First of all, I'm putting these other cards down for now because yesterday I found the temperance card when I got up. So this is my masculine is really working on himself, okay? So listen, the lover's card is putting this moon card, the secret. There's This is a secret that divine masculine really wants divine feminine. I don't know why he's not coming forward and saying it. But he's secretly leaving things that no longer serve him. Secretly choosing who? The queen of cups, divine feminine. Guess what he left, guys? This energy is so much better than earlier bounced on that ass left anything and everyone that caused him a what tower moment okay yes 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 what's next the beginning yes he said listen i'm going towards a new beginning omg i guys i love this shit you have no idea he said look i'm leaving things that don't serve me i'm going i'm starting a new beginning oh to my masculine it took you six hours to realize you were karmic oh six hours six of wands i can't make this shit up you guys know that's my number anyway six all right. So he said, I'm leaving. He said, I'm leaving behind the lovers, the toxic lovers, the people, the things that no longer serve me. Okay, guys, my things are upside down and going, oh, on the queen of cups, we get the king of cups coming towards the vine feminine for sure. Guys, I'm sweating. Hold on. I can't make this shit up. I'm sweating. Where's my car keys? I got so excited. Hold on. 326 on the clock too. Woo. OMG. Like I'm at a nursing home before I go and I don't want them to hear me screaming because I'm excited. Yeah, made a decision. After his super tower moment, after the Divine Masculine super tower moment, two of pentacles, he said, hell no, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not arguing. I'm not fighting. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not putting myself in that energy because look at, I have all these people, all these options arguing fight over me and I'm not even happy. That's what I'm getting. Player, player from the Himalayas isn't so happy anymore. Are you player, player from the Himalayas? All right, let's see, Spirit. We got another card. <gasps> On the six of wands is what? The empress. 404 on the clock. Divine Madison's going towards the empress. That's his lover. That's the secret. He's not, no one knows that Divine Madison's going towards the, the look at, he's sneaking towards the 414 on the clock. He's sneaking towards Divine Feminine. That's on the king of cups. He's sneaking. No one knows nothing. Listen, this Divine Madison has, has a revised plan. He didn't tell anyone about it. Okay. Look at, because you're his what? Nine of cups on the two of pentacles. Yes, baby. Yes. Oh my God, Divine Muscle, this is giving me some. And guess what? He's who's he started fighting with and arguing with and being around? Queen of Swords, Karma Gas Energy. I'm done. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. Divine Masculine said, I'm done with that too. Okay, Divine Masculine wants no parts of karmic energy. So somebody's energy transformed really, really fast from this morning to this afternoon. I don't know what it was, but it was something. Okay, guys? All right, so what do we got? 
Eight of Pentacles on top. Okay, hold on. I got to turn these cards around. Eight of Pentacles. Keep that in mind. He said I learned. You did. I'm proud of you, Divine Masculine. He said I learned. All right. I'm going to do four Moonology cards. But guess what, guys? For this time, I want to show you guys something. Okay? See my spread? All right. I just want to show you guys how I do it, what I do. Okay? So let's see the Moonology card, and then I'm going to pick some love cards. Okay? All right. Let's see. And then I have two more, oh, two more patients, and then I'm going home with my babies. Oh, my God. I don't even know I'm going to cook for dinner tonight, 5, 30, 30 o'clock. Confidence is your key to success, okay? Confidence always, okay? Your commitment is being tested. I, You know what? I kind of figured that. Divine Masculine, sometimes these men test us in ways. It's like, do we have to go down that road? What are you doing that for? And that's when Divine Feminines test their ass right back. Your dreams need a practical plan and prosperity lies ahead. So let's see. Confidence is key to your success in the Lover's Moon, um, Six of Wands, Empress deck, okay? Your commitment is being tested by the Queen of Cups, uh, Five of Swords, King of Cups, leaving situations, sneaking away. So Divine Masculine's testing Divine Feminine, okay? Um, Eight of Wands, the Tower, the Two of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, your dreams need a puzzle plan. So he's sneaking away with no plan. That's the thing. And ten, a ten of swords, leaving situation that no longer serve him. The full card, new beginning. And uh, new beginning, five of wands. No more arguing, no more fighting with who? The karmic. So listen, prosperity lies ahead. What I want to say is, this divine feminine, divine masculine has a job to do, okay? They have a job from spirit. They have to do, okay? Meditation, contemplation, new moon, and Pisces. They have a job to do. And spirit's not going to lay up until they either end the cycle, do the job, or or figure out what the hell they're going to do with each other. Because you guys know there's people you just, you just always come back and you connect them. Well, if you don't end the cycles, it's going to be like that for your whole life. Um, yeah, it definitely going to be like that. Also, I want to tell you guys, so the number 13, I kept seeing, I kept seeing, I kept seeing, I, I, I associated that number with someone and I just that they're very karmic and shit. So and it was like upheaval. So I knew that if I was 722 on the clock, if I moved in that direction, it was going to be bad. And I already knew it was a karmic person. OK, so I'm glad I I made the right decisions and state stood in my power and stood in my ways. But there's a new moon coming out March 13th. OK, so when I saw that spirit said, this is what I want you to do. Manifest. OK, March 13th is a day for manifesting, guys. The portals are opening between the, the winter solstice and the spring equinox. And it's going to be a big beginning for everyone, okay? Let those cycles close. Listen, let people be who they are. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. Heal yourself, okay? We can't change. What is going to happen is already going to happen. What's not going to happen is already not going to happen. That's why I said, like, you guys, I got to keep it 100 real with you because I don't want anyone out here in broke heart, broke heart, broke broken hearted energy saying well divine feminine sunshine oh my god i'm drooling sunshine goddess said no i'm telling you guys the truth where are my other cards all right so i want to share that with you guys too my midday mix is getting long so let's see what we got past life relationship i just told you guys that didn't i just say that oh my god i love this shit retreat your dreams retreat your commitment is being tested so listen divine masculine comes goes comes goes but listen it's just a test Honeymoon, your dreams need a pack to a plan. So Divine Masculine, whatever you're planning on doing with Divine Feminine, you need to like make a plan. I feel like this Divine Masculine, religious factors, prosperity, religious factors on prosperity led head. So listen, this Divine Masculine still in spiritual awakening, okay? Religious factors, maybe he's worried that you're in too, in, too intuitive that you know. Ooh, look at great fortune, middle of the deck, 26. I'm not getting no more. Look at spirit side, I know you're not because I said you're not. Oh my God, mature woman on the other side. In the middle of the deck, I can't make this shit up. So look at your great fortune, Divine Masculine. Definitely rose with your Divine Feminine, 266. If anybody needs some numbers for the day, okay? Such a guy is 333. I'm telling you, me and my Divine Masculine, we're both number sixes. I know what type of six I am. I don't know what type of six he is. All right, I said no. Courtship. Main mail. Oh my God. Okay, guys, I'm getting out of here because now I'm telling my own business. All right, guys. So, Sunshine Goddess 333, thank you for being here. Like, subscribe, and share. And this midday mix was like so important. I feel the energy radiating. Okay. Stand true to yourself, Divine Feminines. Stand true to your power, Divine Masculines. Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines. Energy is energy. If it resonates, it resonates. If you can't be true with yourself, how the hell can you be true with someone else? Because you can't. 
All right. So stand in your power. Sunshine Goddess 333. Thank you for being here, guys. Like, subscribe, share. And I appreciate each and every one of you that comment, like, subscribe share with your friends do whatever you do i appreciate it because the energy resonates once you guys send it out i get it and i'm able to deliver the message for you okay i love you guys love you much have a great rest of your thursday eve friday it's tomorrow i'm not that that matters for me i fuck, i work every seven days a week but still it's just a little bit more chill okay so such i got a three 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 never forget how how grateful i am of you guys and i'll catch you guys later on my next read or maybe a little midday mix Mwah. keep your head up and your heart close to god